This is Andy's room, the late afternoon, and it's after Buzz Lightyear has gotten here, so you can see kind of the Buzz posters and uh, the Buzz Lightyear uh, comforter on Andy's bed. And uh, if you look very carefully at the book titles, if, you, if you've seen some of the other Pixar short films, you'll probably recognize a few of the names. Uh, if not the title of the film itself, then certainly if you look at the credits, you'll see other people's names on there. One thing that was really hard to do when we started this was uh, try and find a way to caricature the world and shapes in the world. The one thing about lighting and texturing uh, that we do here is it really does bring it back more into a, a really believable world. And so caricatured shapes, if the world isn't if the whole world isn't caricatured, that tends to work uh, not as well. So this is the Dynaco gas station in uh, Andy's neighborhood. You can see it's kind of a little uh, brontosaurus in the logo. I mean, what we always wanted to do was kind of a 50s style uh, leftover gas station in the neighborhood. And uh, so we got a little bit of that. Uh, and we also wanted to get the really harsh fluorescent lighting. It's kind of got a blue tinge to it and, and just very harsh and very exposing. Um, you, can, you can see things like little oil stains and, and tire tracks and uh, oil can stand there. So if you look here too, some of the things that we always struggled with were getting uh, that cheesy cement rock texture on this trash can right here. If you look also inside the uh, lobby of the uh, gas station, you can see a few things like potato chips and it's actually all there. So there's a lot of detail that sometimes you see in the background. Uh, I, sometimes we wish we had spent more time on the things we do see than the stuff we really don't see. But the film changes so often and so fast in story that uh, it's hard to keep up with, the, with that. Uh, still, I think that it, it looks pretty good and, um, and I'm pretty proud of it. We had a great art department on this film. This is Sid's room. And uh, there's things like, un well, I think there's, in the final film, there's underwear and socks hanging out of the uh, dresser. And then the, if you look very carefully, you can see a waffle iron there with a baby smushed in it, little toy doll. And there's a really great poster up there, killing Paul Bunyan and his blue ox of doom. The shooting target is actually one from uh, layout artist Craig Good's uh, office he's had hanging up. Uh, you can see how well he keeps his room locked. And uh, there's just lots of junk laying around. We modeled a few things like cans and tapes and uh, uh, cups for other purposes in the film, and we needed it for set dressing, so we would sprinkle it throughout the room. One of the things that's really hard to do with the computer in, in a, with a computer film is to really get the sense that it's a real space and not just kind of a cold environment. We were able to utilize little bits and pieces from all over the film and kind of cram it into Sid's room so that it looked like a mess.